Alligator. And uh, kind of like demanding food from people, and so when that happened, they got a call, and our owner, Gary Sarage, was able to capture him. Said it was very easy. Took about 30 minutes. Threw some chicken in the water. He came right over. If you'll notice on his his right eye, the one closest to you, there's some scar tissue, and that's because when he was a nuisance skater, so Kate decided to handle it on his own and try to eye with a pellet gun. Fortunately for him. There were no wildlife officials around because harassing an alligator, feeding an alligator is about $1,500 per foot in fines. And so you can see how big Tex is. That would drain the bank. Good Lord. It's a huge alligator. That is an absolutely massive alligator. It's the world's biggest captive alligator right now. He actually needed like a flatbed truck and they kind of strapped him down and moved him. It took a forklift to get him up. We estimate he's about 50 to 60 years old, but we're not sure. The way you can tell is you see those armor plates on his back. You actually shave one of those off and when you look at it underneath the microscope, it's like rings on a tree and you just count. What do you guys think? Should we give him one more? Yeah. yeah. That's whack. So does it hurt them to have that shaved off? Uh, no, they're very tough. Their blood actually has antibiotics in it, so the risk of infection and stuff too is very low. Uh, there's some more injuries with Al that we'll get into. But uh, yeah, they're very tough animals. They, like we got one of the osteoderms off Al, and he didn't even move. Us. Any questions? Um, no? okay. no. Alright, if you guys want to go make your way over to the bleachers, we'll do the outro next. That's crazy. 